space, the final frontier. These are not the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Hey there, I'm Brian Rollins, and this is the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week we're covering science fiction TV shows that are not Star Trek or Doctor Who. We figured we'd let some of the other shows have a chance to shine. If you're new to the show or need a refresher, you can find the rules for the game at dorkygeekynerdy.com slash rules. As always, we'll feature 30 questions in three rounds. Plot your course and set the engines to full power. It's showtime. The Dorky Round Number 1. Which major character did not appear in the first pilot of Lost in Space? Dr. Smith. Number 2. What is Starbuck's real name in the reimagined Battlestar Galactica? Kara Thrace. Number 3. On what Twilight Zone street are the monsters due? Maple Street. Number 4. In Knight Rider, what does KIT stand for? Knight Industries 2000. Number 5. In Firefly, what two languages does everyone speak? Mandarin and English. Number 6. What British sitcom is set billions of years in the future? Red Dwarf. Number 7. What sci fi sitcom was a spin off of Happy Days? Mork and Mindy. Number 8. Which was the first North American science fiction series to last longer than seven seasons? The X-Files. Number 9. Which Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich movie spawned a long-lived TV franchise? Stargate Number 10. Which time travel series featured Dr. Sam Beckett and Admiral Al Calavici? Quantum Leap. The Geeky Round. Number 1. What series featured a clone hating group called the Prolethians? Orphan Black. Number 2. Which insect race appeared in the original Battlestar Galactica? Ovians. Number 3. What reptilian race inhabited the land of the lost? The Sleestack. Number 4. Which Beatles song gets referenced in the Firefly episode, Serenity? (laughs) 
Cry Baby Cry. Number 5. Harlan Ellison sued James Cameron because of the similarities between The Terminator and two episodes of a show Ellison had written. Which TV series was that? The Outer Limits. Number 6. What 1983 series starred Desi Arnaz Jr. and featured a computer-generated superhero fighting crime? Auto Man. Number 7. Which show, created by Rockney S. O'Bannon, starred Roy Scheider as a submarine captain? Sequest DSV. I guess you could say he did find a bigger boat. Number 8. Which 1999 show was produced in collaboration with the Jim Henson Workshop? Farscape. Number 9. Which 1966 Irwin Allen creation starred Whit Bissell as a character named Kirk? The Time Tunnel. Number 10. Which Steven Spielberg series featured Tim Curry, Clancy Brown, Jessica Steen, Rebecca Gayhart, Antonio Sabato Jr., and others? Earth 2. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. Whose death does Sarah Manning witness in the first episode of Orphan Black? Beth Childs. Number 2. What Canadian sci-fi series did Harlan Ellison create and then quit? The Star Lost. Credits would identify him as Cordwainer Bird. Number 3. Who designed the original Lost in Space robot? Robert Kinoshita. Number 4. What 1985 series featured a man who could shrink and a telekinetic Courtney Cox. Misfits of Science Number 5. Richard Anderson played which character on two 1970s sci-fi series? Oscar Goldman. Number 6. What show, created by J. Michael Straczynski, was a live-action Saturday morning show about soldiers of the future living in a dystopia after losing the war against the machines? Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Number 7. Dick Wolf, creator of Law & Order, also co-created which short-lived series about a human police officer teamed up with a robotic officer? Man and Machine Number 8. Which 1968 Irwin Allen creation 
featured humans crash landing on a planet that was like Earth, but everything was 12 times bigger. Land of the Giants Number 9, which 13-episode Fox series featured Louise Fletcher, Anthony Stewart Head, Adam Baldwin, Eric Avari, and Penn Jillette, amongst others. VR5 Number 10. What Canadian and German collaboration featured Tim Curry in its debut miniseries? Lex, The Dark Zone And we're back from our trip around the galaxy and through time. If you enjoyed the show, please be sure to drop us a line at dorkygeekynerdy.com. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook. And lastly, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. We really appreciate it. It keeps us going week after week. Speaking of which, here's your clue for next week. What decade gave us such memorable phrases as, where's the beef, the choice of a new generation, and I've fallen and I can't get up? If you'd like to help support the show, you can go grab the book of the week. This week... It's Exploring Space 1999 by John Kenneth Muir. From the science fiction show's conception in 1973 to its cancellation in 1977, this reference work covers each of the 48 episodes in depth, including a full plot synopsis, writer, director, guest star credits, and critical commentary that examines both the episode and other shows that have used similar plot lines. You can get this book or any previous book of the week at Dorky geekynerdy.com slash book. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. As always, thanks for listening. <laughs>